Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sportscape. Time to ask the analyst. So we're going to dive right into the twe tweets that we got to. Uh, Twitter and tweets uh, saying at the same time can not be very good for the mouth sometimes. <laughs> so let's dive into the first tweet of the day. It comes from Alex and he says, any update on the Tatar contract situation? Love the coverage. Keep it up. This is what something that's kind of in your wheelhouse of what fans can expect at, at The Athletic. Yeah, so. we've, we've really in, dove into the uh, Tomas Tatar uh, arbitration case. And in terms of updates, uh, it's an interesting case because I think his camp views that he's a $6 million a year player. The Red Wings are probably comfortable at about $5 million a year. I personally think when you dive into where the Red Wings are, a, a one-year deal where you have the option to move him at the trade deadline is the best case scenario for the organization as a whole. Uh, but in terms of where things stand, he's got an arbitration case that comes up on the 20th. The two sides are going to file their briefs where we're going to get an indication of where the numbers are on both sides on the 18th. And then I think we'll, we'll see how far apart the two sides are at, on that date. It'll be interesting. Should be interesting that Red Wings roster is something to kind of look at and just wonder what they're going to do with it. Uh, one more real quick. I just want to dive into this one real quick. Can Cabrera actually be moved? That comes from a go green till I die. Katie? No, I don't think so. And I know that that report surfaced recently. I actually think it was Alex Rodriguez that floated that blockbuster yeah, potential yeah. trade to Boston. Mm. No, I don't see that happening at all. I think, you know, his contract is so bloated and will be prohibitive to any Anyone wanting an impact bat, right. not to mention he, he is ha experiencing you know yeah. the worst season of his career, and I think there is a large concern that he's playing through injury right now. Yes, that could be true. All right, thanks for the tweets. We appreciate them. A lot of people wanted to talk more about DCFC. <laughs> That's what they love. They actually said you guys need to get that on your app as well. I'm just saying. Okay. People that people want. Hey, people people are, people, there's people, people looking. That's right. All right, coming up next, the final few thoughts before we kick off this wonderful Sunday in Detroit. We'll be back right after that.